<laughs> Good morning. So, or it's like 5.20. So, it's a bit late, I know, but I've been working all day, working with some projects that I'm going to have later this summer and later this year. And, but now I'm heading out. I want to practice on my backflip. So then I can see you at the park. Hello, friends. Now I'm at Alban and I'm going to train, train, train a bit. Okay, that was a good one. And now I'm going to try to backflip on. Now I'm going to try to practice on my backflip. So let's head over there. Yo. Okay, so I really want to step it up again and do like an Araba uh, backflip. But I haven't done it before, uh, or on trampoline I have, but not here. So it's kind of scary. So yeah, let's see. It's just so hard. I'm sorry, I will try, but it's just super hard. You know that doing one thing a day that scares you? I really want to do that. But uh, that's uh, today it's harder than usual. So I just have to dig a little bit deeper today and I will get it. But it might take some time. So now in the meantime, while I'm resting my wrists, I'm doing whatever I can here to work from my phone. So that feels good uh, to be productive. But I really want to land at a rubber backflip today. So. Uh, Fingers crossed, I just gotta have a good focus, super focus. Okay, we can try again. <sighs> it's insane how nervous I am right now. Okay, so two things that I'm trying to think of when I'm doing new stuff or hard stuff is the number one is what is, what would the best version of Martin do right now. It's like when I got used to taking cold showers, I always stood in the shower afraid of turn on the super cold water, but I just asked myself what would the best version of Martin do? And then I just turn on the water because I know that that is the answer for my question. And the second thing is that fear, like the only thing you can feed fear with is time. So the longer I take, the more <laughs> the more afraid I get. You understand? So yeah. Oh. But now it's like, what would the best version of Martin do? And I'm just super afraid that I'm going to hurt myself. So <laughs> it's not a clear answer to the question. <sighs> oh. I just don't feel safe doing it. But it's kind of such a shame, but I think it will be okay. But I will do it when I feel safe. Safer. My hands are hurting so much, but I don't want to go home before I've done it. Why do I have to be like this? Why can I? Okay. You know what? I think I have to work on accepting failure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I have to stop trying to always be so perfect. You know it's hard. I just learned the normal backflip and I want to do this, but maybe I should do it on some 
safer ground before I do it here. Okay, yeah. Let's be positive. It's okay. I didn't hurt myself and my wrists are hurting, but I don't like I haven't broken them or any, anything. And I've still had a good activity outdoor. So yeah. I think we can just go home and I can eat something very delicious because I'm super hungry. And yeah. Okay. It's okay to fail sometimes. You will just learn new stuff. And now I and now I know that and now I have been training on it for a long time, so maybe next time. But it's okay that I didn't do it today, even though I badly wanted it. <laughs> for some minutes ago, I tried to go home. Then I thought that I should go home because I wouldn't do it. Um, and I felt like shameful, but now kind of accepting it, I feel just kind of good. So yeah, it's still a bit tough since I didn't do it, you know, but yeah, one day, one day. I'm super cold, but so I just wore my helmet on on the track. It looks like I'm a super safe runner with a motorbike helmet. Haha. <laughs> See you at home, friends. See you at home. <laughs>